Hey everybody, it's Family Badass Hero, and welcome to Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs, Part 3. Previously, we were exploring the cathedral and the steampunk tunnels within, when our personal space was really hogged up by one hell of a pig. And you could say that he made me squeal. You know, while we're still on the pig puns thing. I think this game shares a very strong theme with Amnesia. And that's the theme of, you are not a good person. Uh, you are not a good person. You're not a hero. You're a guy trying to survive. And you've made some terrible, cruel choices in your life to get where you are. You're more of... You're more of a Dr. Frankenstein type person, per se. I'm assuming those are going to kill me if I go through them. Okay, so we were on the one on the left before. Now we're on the one on the right. I see. Peak. Mary had a little lamb. Little lamb. Mary Fleece was white as snow You know, in a lot of ways, I'm really just like a fucked up Willy Wonka. Instead of making candy, I make human pig meat. And instead of Oompa Loompas, they're human pigs. More experiments with the mysterious Chemical X. Took the dog and injected it with Strykeen. After the expected convulsions and spasming, it died just after midnight. I immersed the body in a large tank of Compound X and introduced an alternating current via induction coil for a period of three and a half minutes. Partial return was induced. However, damage incurred prior to death was retrained upon revival, meaning the dog continued in the acute state of striking poisoning until I put a bullet in the skull. But drowning, perhaps yes, is after all known to be the kindest of suicides. If one were to drown, replacing the fluid in the lungs with Compound X should theoretically be perfectly possible as a revival method. So he was trying to revive people. Where are we going? No one's knowing. I have the compound. It hisses and steams in its container like some living thing. A witch's chili to burn and corrode. The container is made from glass. A strange choice unless there is some particular reason why the metal that pervades everywhere else cannot be brought into contact with so-called Compound X. I should investigate for further clues. How happens if we just dropped it and just broke right there? It'd be such a uh, troll-tastic thing.
beautiful. Guy seems to be tripping down a bit. Down here, Daddy. Faster, faster. Coming as fast as I can. Ow! Oh. Oh, I was supposed to climb down, wasn't I? Ha! Oh, I prefer breaking my legs. Every chapter of some kind, we always wake up. Knocked out, in pain, coughing. Sewers level. I take it Splinter won't be too friendly. Naturally, once bled, the product must be scalded, dehaired, and scraped ready for again broiling and in evisceration. For this, we pass him through the steam reservoir, which is kept at a constant temperature by passing excess high-pressure venting from the engines via the boiler in a series of large copper pipes into a stone chamber just below the workhouse. At the center of the machine, there is a component that must be kept at a consistently low temperature which controls operations of the processing of product throughout the system. Alongside this, refrigeration is one of the utmost importance in retaining product quality. And this also requires heat to be removed from certain areas of the machine. Two problems are therefore combined into a single solution. The removal of heat from some areas and the requirements for increased heat in others. Conducting panels draw heat using the principles of convection regulated by the boiler and sending freezing air along one set of pipes in one direction and superheated vapors in another. That was a mouthful. Isn't it dangerous allowing this filthy discharge to collect so close to the core? We can use the flow to drive the turbines. There will always be a torrent of excreta flooding through these tunnels. We can use this to supplement the steam production and ensure constancy. God, the stench! This fecal matter is the true product of the age. My mysterious friend is correct. The sewers are indeed flooded. To descend further, I will have to find local sluice pumps to drop the water levels. The smell is almost unbearable. It makes me gag. Why should the saboteur have flooded the tunnels though? What did he hope to achieve? Probably wanted to keep the pigs in. Wouldn't be surprised if we flooded these in like... Oh no. Hello, old friend! I see you're back! Come to bite my legs off once I step into the water. We're just here to electrocute my balls! Yeah, yeah, we're not gonna, we're gonna stay away from the water for right now. Ooh, I don't like that. Pig maze. One of these days I'm going to peek around a corner and the pig's going to be there. Just staring back at me like, hey, what's going on? I'm peeking around the corner too. No, nope, when in doubt, go right. Right makes right.
So we thought it'd be logical to make some kind of invisible thing in the water that like charges electricity and shit. Pig mask. Because, you know, like, like someone might want to swim in the sea of shit. And if they do that, that'd be like icky, so we want to kill them. It's like logical, right? I figured you'd be calling me. August 1st, 1899. Several of the older forms have breached their containment area and escaped into the sewers. They remind me of my limitations. This is no Chelm, and I am no Eliehu. At least, not quite yet. It is the heat generated from keeping the doorway between open that is to blame. We cannot simply pack them about with coolant as we do to the center where the doorway is. The later versions are kept safe by the freezing temperature of those towers. Up here, where the air is hot and fetid, they become overheated, and a duality tears them asunder. As the ever place flies from their cells and their vitae splitters, they live sporadically, turn from one world to the other and back, again in violent, unpredictable bursts. For a few seconds, they are creatures of this world. Then they are torn away and seized that physical form. This vicious ripping back and forth between worlds has driven them quite insane. I have ordered the affected area sealed. It will not allow my loyal workers to enter. These are damned places now. The abode of failed experiments, ghosts of fear and spite. I wonder if we ended up did making an AI at some point. Someone's calling. I gotta go pick up the phone. Hello, I'm coming. Don't hang up. So we can kill you. Guys, I've arrived. Where's the party? There is no party. Just her grave. Pig? So that's not like a invisible shark. It's apparently an invisible pig who happens to be electrically conductive which makes perfect sense because he had stuck between worlds so it became like anomaly like from stalker This thing should really learn to relax. And yes, you were twisted into an unimaginary form. It's a funny but place. We can save them. We can set them free. We can replace a rotten old world with a clean new one. Mr. Landis, you sound every bit the fanatic. Well, how can I be otherwise, Professor? How can any man of ethics simply stand by and watch this world drown in its own excrement? And your engineer, this visionary with whom you embarked upon this course, does he share your views? Indeed he does. Indeed he does. The poor fellow has seen it all before. Now, this is not the first great civilization he has wept for. And so you set about things immediately upon your return. Naturally, naturally. These things cannot be left to rot upon the tree. And sponsors were remarkably easy to find. 
I tell you, Professor, a trail of greed brings rich men to your door like pigs to truffles. Ah. Uh. Now that's an actual pig right there. February 17th, 1899. And I said, Look, my darlings, can you see it? And they said, Yes, Daddy, yes, we see it. A tall withered cap of a steep sided pyramid, so like those of Egypt. Stone falling away from the summit, vines crawling about, intertwining the stucco serpents that thrive about the steps. A palpable sense of stillness. A weight of a forgotten. And this here, this is where the king sat. And this is where the priests lived. This house, this is the house of the dead. And here, where the sun strikes, this is where they threw the hearts that were not consumed. So you found the Aztecs. No, my darlings, they most certainly were not savages. You see, they believed that the sky could fall on their heads. And they truly, truly believed that offering blood was the only way of stopping this from happening. Perhaps, my darling, perhaps they were mistaken altogether, or perhaps their tragedy was they could not simply spill enough blood to prevent the sky from falling in upon them. Would be on the gate. That's done it. Now I can enter the strange decontamination chamber once again and move onwards. The waters are pushed back, making the way to the bilge clear. Where can I divert the remainder of this filthy torrent back into the fames where it belongs? Clear the path to the center of the machine. It'll never be that easy. I'm gonna fall into this shit. Run from a fucking electrical invisible pig. Yeah, fuck you, I am talking about you. Deal with it. Oh yeah? Yeah, you upset? You upset they called you electrical filthy invisible pig? We'll deal with it. Maybe you found, should have found a different living in life. Had I been there before? I think so. Punk airlocks. I can do this pretty fast now that we know how to use it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's a big pig. more cultured than I thought. I mean, they're not really cultured, but, you know. Dear God, a whole nest of these foul creatures. No mind. My instincts have drawn me thus far, and I'm sure somewhere in these dank complex is a means of further descent. I will not see their faces as they go about their dark business. And yet, and yet, I watch them sleep, and eat, and play, and they are so very human. So very childlike. 
and I will not think of what I have seen of the chairs and the cages. I will not think of how such monsters may be sculpted. I wonder how London feels to have like an army of pig people under there. Pretty friendly. What are you doing, man? Stacking? They look almost like dog people in some ways. I guess that's why they're man bear pigs. <laughs> You're a pig. Kind of pressing, actually. Once one of these guys burst out just to spite me. One sounds a lot closer than I should. Some horrors we can see down here. Surf's up! In some ways, I think these pigs look more like kobolds. I mean, with their pig features and human-like features, they look almost like rats. If it wasn't for their pig noise, but even then, kobolds look kind of like pigs sometimes. Right makes right. But let's look at the other one real quick. Right it is. What a frill. You know it'd be cool being attacked by pigs in here? You like aliens, man. It's the horde of pigs coming at you for the tunnels. Maybe make it a little more maze-like rather than linear. Could have been, could have been. Pity. Oh shit. Still in the sewers.
Wait, I'm down below with those other pigs, aren't I? Maybe. You seem to have undergone quite a profound conversion in Mexico, Mr. Manuel. You could not have seen it yourself and not, Professor. As we disembarked, even through my fever, I saw the detritus of this so-called progress. I saw starvation and disease, rot and destruction polluting the waters of the Empire. We are ruiners, you and I, and all of us, and we make the world unclean. And you took it upon yourself to act as Redeemer. Professor, I would not be so presumptuous. I am merely a conduit. I am constructing an architecture to wrestle our damnation to the ground and smother it with steam. So he goes and finds the Aztecs, finds the runes, thinks, oh shit, this is how empires fall. And I'm gonna save jolly old England by making an army of pig people to do all our labor and deal with our waste. These must be the bilge pumps. I am at the heart of the saboteur's efforts. In order to keep his fund in place, he must have disabled these fast pumps. But he was clearly rushed. Thus far, he has left most of his work incomplete. Clumsy efforts reduced to simply switching off all he could find. If I can locate the controls, the remedy will be simple. Oh shit, I just realized. The other guy on the radio. If he's some kind of partner, he's probably locked down here. Perhaps I... I had a change of heart. I so, thought, oh, this shit, this shit's crazy. So I... Destroy the pumps, I destroy the machines, lock everything down. In panic. I leave him down here, pro probably because he made some statement like, With these army of pigs, we can take over the world! <laughs> Shut up, electrical pig. I'm trying to have a monologue. So he... Sh takes down the whole fucking place. But the guy did something to him, like either knocked him out or poisoned him or whatever. Made him lose his memory. And now he's manipulating to come down, unlock the place. The trickle to still waters. I drag myself deeper into the tower, downward ever. Towards a wind that held the voices of my children, beckoning me to set them free. I mean, it's some of the fun that the children were never alive in the first place. It's just been some pawn. <laughs> Fuck you, electrical pig. I'm not letting you pull your shit. in a while. I don't know what that did, but... Once we open that door... I definitely got this machine running. Now there's steam blocking my way. Now this looks like a place where I'll have to wait for the water. Another pump. It seems once again I must engage it. I cannot help but feel I am trapped in some great game, forced to undertake endless Herculean labors, the promised reward of my darling children. What if I were in some kind of freaky horror video game? And I was just being controlled for some ways entertainment. Oh shit! No, oh, no, no, no. 
No, pigs. Pigs, no. Pig, no. You have to work harder for your meal. Definitely going deeper on this map. Now, we've been to most of these areas. Uh, we haven't been to this meat grinding area anyway. In that bottom right area, I don't think we've been to. But it doesn't look like we can go any deeper, but I could very well be very wrong. Need more wheels. The flood is drained. I have prevailed. The saboteur is beaten in. My heart pounds with excitement, even as my head spins and shudders in feverish anticipation. How this machine now throbs about me, sensing its rebirth is imminent. The final descent beckons me to enter, as Lily once lay in our wedding bed and summoned me into manhood. This is about. I am really tempted to find out. <laughs> this was supposed to kill me. Was this just a troll area? I guess so. It's just for people like me who are really too curious. And I escaped their wrath. There will be no consumption of my flesh today. I am a free man.
A pity I can't pick up random objects anymore. I remember carrying a broom around Amnesia, thinking I was a cute little witch girl or Maho Shoujo. Curled into my bunk, all sick and sweat ridden. They cleaned my room about me, but I can only hear the voice from within that gentlest of stones. It sings to me, and I dream of a great machine. We will build a new world from the ruins of the old. We will plant flowers in the rotten rib cage and let them grow to hold the sky from falling. I remember how it whispered to me as we rolled sick and heaving. And I remember when we pulled into the Southampton and we both wept, for it was every bit as much a desecration as had been, been sung to me. And then we came to London, and I set it upon the mantelpiece, and went into the house, and gathered the servants, and set on recrafting them. And then I went into the garden, and buried those tiny shattered skulls under the weeping bulges of the rhododendrons. Oh, the boys died on the adventure. I thought it was odd. He said the boys were on the adventure. This is going to be a great adventure. And then he mentions like this traumatic of event and whatnot, like getting sick and this and that. It must have all been tied together. So he came back, built this machine, the boys were already dead. The heart of the machine. And when they first said, Daddy, my heart was molten, as if blood frozen upon the ground were held to the sun to fall and slop. And they were inseparable. Always together, one soul and two bodies, and my love was all-consuming. I would die for you, I whispered to their sleeping faces. I would kill. I would set this world to ruin to protect you. I have fought through dark tunnels, great engines, the foulest of beasts. I have set my covenant and drained this flood, and I am come for you now, my darling boys. What have you done, Mandis? What have you done? And you came then to London, and you set me upon a mantelpiece, and then you went into the house and gathered the servants, and we set you and I on recrafting them, and then you went into the garden and buried those tiny shattered skulls alone. Through your children, Magnus, to spare them the world you have created. Let us see this so-called machine. Zen's the night. saboteur. You set forth the events in motion to stop what you have created. Now we're drawn. I tried. I tried so hard. I will uphold my promise. I will always protect them for you. My eyes are your eyes. My heart is your heart. I will rip them loose from this rotten world and set them to burn 
all to save them. Like wafts of flame. Rod control room, huh? And they feel no pain. The process is completely humane. Humane, Professor? That we judge the acceptable level of suffering by the human condition? Ask the beggar, Professor. Ask the orphan. Ask the whore. Ask the starving, Professor. The weak, the sick. The filthy! Ask them to define your humane! Professor A? This is a puzzle I was supposed to go down the song, wasn't it? <laughs> the bastard has been here too. This is the epicenter of his meddlings. This is where it began, and this is where it will end. I will seek the source of this obstruction. Then I will render the sabotage impotence once and for all. Up. There we go. Looks almost like a nuclear power plant down there. It wasn't really an act of sabotage, it was just an act of opening something. <laughs> I mean, you think you would have at least like jammed a chair in there or something, you know? Now to find the ignition controls and strike the machine once more. Elated, I stride forth upon these catwalks. I am coming, my darlings. I have almost saved you! Damn Death Star. What have I done? Now, Mandus, set them free. Set them all free. Who the hell is talking to me? Hey, let me just free out the entire pig army. <sighs> You're a fucking AI, aren't you? I breathe again! 
I rise. I will rise to bleach the sky and steal the water. I will spin the world wheel and set the future upon the path to redemption. Where are my children? You promised me my children. My time is come. More pig. More pig. Boys. Boys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And that's it for Amnesia, a machine for pigs, part 3. Well, we navigated the sewers and we activated the machine, which by all obvious accounts was not a good thing to do. And as was implied and hinted throughout the game in the various documents and dialogue, uh, the machine is kind of a supernatural super AI, while his children have been dead all his time, dead by his own hands. Now Mandis has to really live with the consequences of what he has done. And this is the part of the game I think that really picks up about... Once you get past the sewer, I think the game very much picks up. A little bit before that, sometimes it drags. Like, it, the mansion's real good, and then it kind of drags a bit. And from this point on, I think, um, the game very much comes into what it's crescendoing into, essentially. Or climaxing, rather. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for... Part 4 of Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs.